Hmm. Lighting is kind of meh. But let me do something about it. Alright, for this vlog, there are three things you need to know about the Ether Cruiser. How far can it go? How fast can it go? And lastly, what are my thoughts about it and whether you should get the Ether Cruiser. I'm now at East Coast Lagoon and this will be my start point where I'll do a review of the Ether Cruiser so stay tuned Okay, for this stretch of East Coast I'll let you know of some of the conditions that I've set for myself to carry out this test I have breaking the board for about 10 rides fully charged about 2 hours ago This test will mainly be running on straight flat roads 5 kilometers in either direction So the whole idea of this test is I'm gonna ride it until I fully drain out the battery that's where I will know how far it can go on a single charge then I'll give my review after all that riding how does it perform and so the journey begins Start point. I need to take a break. Battery is about 75% left. Not bad, huh? I already clocked 10km. Eh. Alright, gonna keep my gear right here. I think it's good for a speed test. Henceforth, I'm gonna show you the speed through an app that will mark. Uh, by a GPS feed. Okay, let's start the test. Okay, moving along. Gunning. Thirty-four. Awesome. Not far off uh, from the top speed that they claim of 40 But honestly, this speed enough uh, I have no guts uh, to hold it up at 30 km per hour 30 km per hour speed equals to also a 30 km per hour fall I just reached Kapak B1 Time to U-turn. Battery level. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Still not 75%. Uh, I think it should be around 50%. I'm really getting comfortable with the mid-speed setting. It's like full throttle all the way. I mean, it goes about 20 plus kilometers an hour. Uh, legal limit is 25, by the way. So you're safe as long as you stick with the medium speed setting. I'm already the second round towards the roundabout. That means I already clocked 20km. Eh. I'm quite impressed. I don't know how far more this, this ball will go. Something is happening here. Starting to feel sluggish. 
the low battery bar is blinking every time I throttle. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go experience the walk of shame soon. It's not entirely shut off. Um, I, I feel like it's just the speed has been retarded. Um, there's no kick, no push to it. I'm currently on the middle setting. So every time I push the throttle, it will cut off. There's a feeling of retardation in the acceleration. So I guess this is just the energy saving mode ah, to keep me going. Let's see how far this will go. This is the crawling speed. Coming soon. I got a feeling. And... And, 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 there it goes. Full throttle, no effect. Now, where am I? Okay, I'm exactly here now. Um, I started at the roundabout somewhere here. Let's drop a pin. And directions, 2.5 kilometers away. So that brings us a grand total of 27 kilometers. Booms! Now just so you know, this is not a sponsored advertisement for the board. I'm not paid to do so. I just had a good experience with it. And let me just share with you some of the good and bad pointers about it, right? So here's the things that I promised you, right? Some of the things that you will want to know that how far can it go? How fast can it go? And they claim that the the distance that they can push the board is about 26 kilometers, but I managed 27. Yes. As for the top speed, they claim that they can go up to 40 kilometers an hour. I only managed, according to GPS, around 37 kilometers an hour max. To be fair, the max distance, the speed, were done by riders that were around that 60, 70 kg mark. I'm way above that. I'm like 90 kgs. Okay, so not so aero lah plus the journey that I took was at east coast which was fairly flat alright not many slopes up and down I think the highest incline was about 10 degrees I don't know how to estimate 10 degree lies about there lah okay also for the things that I mentioned from an earlier vlog okay remember I was at the fitness corner and talking about this deck it is heavy it goes about 7 kgs but it's a fair weight because I know I've seen the bigger boards like those all-terrain boards right or those with bigger batteries that can go the distance that one definitely a bit more weight right um, even though it has a bamboo underlayer it, it kind of still feels a bit stiff for a 90 kg fella here so now let me tell you about my experience going through the whole stretch of east coast back and forth right Due to the stiffness of the board, I kind of felt like yeah, I get, I, I'm getting a bit of pins and needles in my feet, right? But probably because I haven't really seasoned myself, I'm still a newbie rider, right? Um, the wheels are kind of bigger than my Ether Dual Plus. So the difference here about bigger wheels is that I can easily go over uh, cracks in the pavement, those seeds that fell off the trees and all these are small, small branches. Okay, not such a big of a concern. Here's the thing that I wish was a better combination with the big wheels were faster if it came with faster bearings. Clearly, hand spinning them, it was smooth, but you can feel that there's resistance in the wheel, you know, like it may not matter below 10 km an hour, but once you start really pushing the deck, now that's a lot of resistance. I felt um, bearings that when I spin the wheels right the, they can continue spinning for quite some time not this board there's kind of a bit of a resistance in the bearings maybe just haven't break in or maybe i just need to upgrade to faster bearings simple as that the most important thing that i like about this deck all right it's the controller they have upgraded their controller to this kind of controller um there's no more hoop here it's just a roller with some adjust uh, speed adjuster by the side and then there's also a handy um, lighting system okay, wait up let me switch on the controller let me just connect it up to the board also now you can see fully connected with the board whatever the battery life on the board will be reflected on the controller itself kind of not accurate here because you got three bars here and four bars there so over here is where you have to aga aga a bit on your own um, other things that you see on the controller is that once the con uh, remote battery is weak, this final light below here will switch on. Okay, will blink and then will let you know lah that the, you need to recharge this fella. Charging is via micro USB. Convenient, you can always just use your power bank. 
Now, green blinking light is not just telling you that it's connected, but also when you press the reverse button, okay, it changes to red. This is telling you that it's in already reverse mode. There's no need for you to mentally flip the roller wheel here, okay? Forward means throttle on, simple as that. The thing about the roller wheel here, it's definitely a better upgrade than the previous controller which had a small um, notch for you to push. Okay, I'll show you that. This is the remote of my Dual Plus. This is how I control the throttle and braking of the board. You kind of have a, a better final control of the board this way. Oops, I'm like moving the board now luckily it's not uh, rubbing against anything about the low medium height let me give you a speed range uh. low goes around 15 kilometers an hour 25 kilometers an hour for the medium speed and then the highest speed setting goes for about um yeah max up to 40. you do not move off standstill in this state okay because we're talking about dual 1000 watt motors here Right, every single time I throttle off, I feel like falling. Kick off first, and then you start throttling, or you start off at medium and then shift it up to high. Okay, I just switched off the remote control. You don't actually need to switch off anything. After usage, you can always just put it aside and you will just switch off after a few minutes. Of course, there's always the concern that somebody may just throttle the thing and your board will just go running off. Good that there's some safety features in place remote and board will switch off after certain time of idle charging light will change from red to green once it's done charging so you can just switch off your charger and plug it off and here's this third additional feature it will kind of auto speed cut meaning like pull your speed at around 10 kilometers an hour enough to stretch your distance and don't waste too much power there's no noticeable damage to the batteries but don't try it all right best is if you already experienced the speed cut stop take a walk or manually pedal the board and then just get home and recharge it would i recommend this board to anyone we're talking about a 500 plus deck off the shelf locally you can get right warranty is a bit more you gotta add like around 80 bucks for additional warranty for six months sounds good to me electronics is best to always have warranty for those that are looking for anything off the shelf and sticking to whatever that they have claimed Max distance a good 27 kilometers that I got from their claim of 26 kilometers. Maximum speed of 37 for me, my body weight, okay, from the claim of 40 kilometers an hour. And also powerful enough to carry a rider weight of about 90 kgs. Expect myself to be carrying this with all my drone gear. So we're talking about 100 kg weight, easy. Is it the fastest board out there? Obviously, no. I am a noob. I have never tried any other brand out there or even all those DIY uh, decks I know you DIY guys are gonna tell me hey, Alma, 27 kilometers only my one can go 50 hey you DIY that and DIY boards are not for everybody so for those that just wanna go on the market and grab something off the shelf locally Eater Skateboards that's the way to go right that's my opinion anyways so do leave me comments down below if you think there are better boards out there that can match the price point for a better product. And I guess I'll wrap this up. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, right? Leave your comments down below. And then for all those pilots out there, I'll see you in the skies. Alright, for all the video guys, I'm kind of noob about lighting and stuff. So I got my soft light here. I got my some back lighting for my camera stuff. Drone stuff coming from the top. And... I'd like to know what I can improve from here, right? Do let me know down in the comments below. Peace.